Hey guys, welcome to Testing Academy. My name is Pramod, and in this video, I'm going to discuss about how I have learned the Java to become an automation tester, right? Or if you want to become a test automation engineer, both are mostly are same. We are going to discuss about with the roadmap as well as the action plan. What are the things that I have basically focused on? In the end, I'm going to give you the what kind of certification that you need to take, advanced Java concepts that you should know, how to prepare for the Java interview as well as how to prepare from scratch about the Java for the different topics that you should know. and overall why you should learn java to become an automation tester all right so let's get started and let's learn about the basically how i have learned about the java all right so we will start reverse and first of all let's discuss about the overall why learning java is important for an automation tester if you want to become an automation tester this video is very very important for a fresher as well as the people who want to switch to manual or they want to switch for the anything i mean uh, they want to become an automation tester or if they want to become an as dat or anything right so java is really really important and just research on the linkedin you will find that out of 10 jobs related to the automation testing right seven basically demand java right now even right now if you see many people have learned java in the bachelor right that's why and the, there are more companies as well as more opportunities as compared to the other languages i know i'm just saying that it will increase your chances to get selected right because when i was thinking right which language should i learn to move to in automation right for the first one which basically come into my mind was a python because it was a easy choice but when i basically tried to research on the linkedin at the time right i uh, basically found this fact that yes out of like 10 only like 8 eight companies are already asking about java only i mean only there are few opening related to the python few opening related to the javascript they are increasing right now but still if you are a fresher if you are a manual tester who want to switch anyone who is there i still recommend with my 10 years experience to start with java only all right let's discuss about the what are the different topics that you should know right and i have prepared this extensively uh, it's a very big document containing whole syllabus what exactly you should know but i am going to cover the few of the points because i really don't want to waste your time but few of the topics which i think are really important because that's how i have started and this is exactly the road map that i have followed which i have basically sharing with you guys this pdf with extended uh, things is already available at sd.life/notes you can find that in the description download this in the end and if you have any doubt outs or anything that you would like to know more about it let me know in the comments i will help you on this okay first of all focus on the basics of java basics of java basically means what exactly is a java java history uh, jdk jre and jvm very important interview question difference between them right you have to know about the classes object and type of classes that again it's a very big one we have a different packages available right different packages we have a different data types you have to basically focus on the primitive non primitive data types both of them as well as the memory allocations right variables methods in java again we have a different type of methods right constructors again pay attention to the constructor because really really important and many times i have seen people are getting confused in the interviews related to the constructor right modifiers inner classes oops concept in the oops we have encapsulation inheritance polymorphism and abstraction there are couple of examples available online right you can watch some of the video series i'm going to give you the link also which video series that you have you should watch and which course you should take as well as the books that you should buy okay keywords garbage collector input output stream is really really important because if you want to learn about the automation advanced automation while uh, doing the file processing other things you have to know that collection framework i think 99% of the time almost like 90% of the time you will be using collection framework in your automation which is really really important uh, you will be using hash mat hash table like this is like a daily thing for me right now uh, because we have to put the data we have to basically convert them pojo and other things serialization deserialization afterwards right so these are very very important exception handling this is like a must that you should know strings and arrays and threading right again thread is really really important to know because whenever you you are running in a multi parallel world your selenium test cases right then you have to know about the concept of thread local threads how to handle them properly and everything related to it okay so i hope this is clear this is the exact pdf you can download in a pdf manner also but exact topics list of topic i don't think i have missed anything if i have missed please comment below i'll add it how to prepare now the question is how to prepare pramod tell me and what are the different tips that you have easy peasy you should have a 30 days plan focus on the core java first second thing is collection fourth is threading a uh, daily one hour practice which is important two projects on saturday sunday first you need to focus on programming so that you can do the little data structure also whatever the things are there in core java right you can learn you can practice on the website uh, i have used lead code i have used code academy hacker rank you can use uh, right 
books to buy again what you have to do is daily you have to learn the new concepts and basically do a practice on hacker rank lead code or code academy code academy is another one which has a pro i would recommend if you have some of the amount uh, some of the extra thing that you would like to invest in yourself you can buy the code academy pro also but again there are plenty of free resources available don't worry about it i will put more list in the description also you can download for code java this is a link of a head first java which is really really important i would highly recommend you to just buy this book for data structure i think it's a data structure with java by narayana uh, you can buy that uh, two links these links will be available don't worry about it and the amazing website which has helped me a lot is educative.io let me show you how this looks like so educative.io it's a basically a learning platform again it's a paid one i would suggest you to you can use uh, like one month or two months it's a i think it's a 10 dollar per month or 12 dollar per month you can do that if you are interested in investing yourself i think you can do that and they have quizzes also and basic they will cover and amazing content they have for example suppose you want to learn about the introduction to classes right you will see these are mix of text breaks written as well as the functionality right so they will explain you every concept very clearly and they have quizzes also which i really really like so educative plus one this is not a sponsor guys this is not a sponsor nothing is sponsor i really like their content and data structure in the java with this data structure uh, of coding i think this one i was able to crack the browse tech interview because i have prepared through this and it couple of questions were already in the browser and i don't know how they know so is the uh, is a coding interview as well as data structure these two things you can do that and they are very very important things so i would highly recommend go through it if you have some money invest in yourself there are a couple of questions related to arrays as well as link plays which were basically asked in the uh, ringify as well as in browser so you can go through it okay i hope you have learned something new guys and there are two important things that i would like to discuss which is advanced concept you have to learn about the different design patterns singleton factory and uh, abstract factory this one you will learn as well as if you want to do the web automation with selenium that page object model you can learn right so this was about it certification i think the only important uh, certification i highly recommend is ocjp we call it oracle certified associate java 8 programmer right uh, these are the two links available uh, these are official links you can find the syllabus as well as you can give almost like 20000 in ayana the fees is there 20000 ayana you can convert to usd according to this and you can take this so that that's how i was able to crack the java related uh, projects and i was able to switch to automation all right i hope you have learned something new in this video guys i'll see you in the next video if you want more details like what was my exact plan how what are the different things that i have followed just type part two in the comment i will happy to share more details around it right and how i was able to properly switch what are the steps that i have taken okay if you really want to know just type part two in the comment i'll see you in the next video thanks a lot for watching bye